Welcome back to the Replay Studio, everyone. We're here with another episode of Dark, episode 8. Last episode, a lot of revelations. The new timeline, I believe, has now been confirmed. Um, 1953, 33 years before, 1986. Uh, we've not visited the timeline just yet, but I imagine we will at some point in the future. Um, of course, we now know Hell plays a much larger part in the story than I initially thought he would. Um, he as a kid, visited the same room that Eric did. Somehow he managed to survive that um, that encounter. Uh, we, If it is that he was strapped into the chair, I mean, someone else had strapped, in, strapped him into the chair initially, whether that's Noah or not, um, still remains to be confirmed. So quite possibly he has been, I don't know, he's been simultaneously terrified of the truth, but at the same time, it appears as though he wants someone to stop this from happening and we've we've heard him before say you know um we need to stop you know we need to stop noah um it could possibly potentially be noah coerced him into you know participating in this madness um so helg is riddled with guilt for all these kids that he's not taken because he has experienced it himself um, well, somehow he keeps doing it, um, and why would you want to inflict the same terror on innocent kids that you experienced yourself? But uh, yeah, I can't say I'm too surprised. Um, so that's that's a possibility, and uh, you know, in in his older days, I guess he now wants to change things, um, but who knows? Who knows? Um, I, I, I hopefully he's leading Ulrich through the case because he wants to um you know he wants to find some redemption you know for, for all the things that he's he's done or will or will do um or will do at least his younger self will do um jonas is back in 2019 i was a bit thrown by that i thought he would remain in 1986 given that i'm still holding on to my theory that the stranger is jonas um but he's back in 2019 now. I don't think he'll stay here um, for long. I think he'll probably move, you know, between timelines. Um, and I, I suppose, uh, I don't know what he does with the information. He burned the letter, hasn't told anyone, and probably for the best, because he has to be careful not to erase himself. Um, uh, but he now knows that he's related to the Nielsens, and, and I think the Tiedmans are related to the Nielsens as well. Um, the Dopplers remain to be seen, and Open Doors we haven't touched since the very since the first two episodes, which is odd. Um, and I keep raising it because Eric, um, I think Held brought Eric's body back to 2019, but no one has discovered his body as yet, and we haven't seen the Open Doors since. This is a bit odd that you know, but they're the one family that I'm looking out for because they were, they were brought up and then shortly after we just just heard nothing of them since but um it's, it's a certainty at this point that um trout nielsen and peter doppler are working together with um with noah to achieve something i don't know if it's if it's immortality for noah because he has an age so that's a possibility but um I'm, I'm sure there is a much more grand goal that he has in mind that we just aren't aren't aware of just yet just yet um we got the the bit with Egon as well, and and um, and Ulrich, who I think has gotten some reprieve now. At, you know they they interviewed Katharina and she denied Hannah's accusations. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't go too well for Ulrich in the future because he ended up cheating on his wife with the same person that got him locked up in the first place, and his wife now knows. So, mm. yeah, yeah, terrible terrible thing to do. As I said, I think he should have come clean the first time around. It wouldn't, I mean, it wouldn't have changed how she felt, but the fact that he denied it after she asked, I think, made it much more worse. I think just doubling down on the lies doesn't doesn't help. Um, so there, um, yeah. Hopefully, you know, because they'll they're gonna need each other for the events to come. I imagine so. Um, yeah. Whatever, all these, all the families, man, they're they're just messed up. I don't think there's a single person who isn't cheating in any of these families. Um, 
favorite, except maybe Alexander, which is odd since he's the uh, one of the most suspicious persons in, in, in the characters in the show so far. Um, and on that note, I mean, Charlotte finally got the the search warrant to, 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 to the facility, but all that revealed was essentially that, you know, her family is more involved in this than she was willing to admit. Um, as I said, I I'm, I know she's she's quickly becoming one of my favorite persons, all favorite characters in the show so far. Um, if only because she's she's intuitive and she's following up on the clues, and you know everyone else seems to be quite a bit lax in in doing their job. They're just doing the bare minimum, um, and this is without her kid having been taken. Ulrich is getting on board, but he didn't give a damn until his kid went missing. Um, so kudos to Charlotte. Um, hopefully. She stays on this, regardless of Peter's involvement, you know. Um, she's back in the room. Um, the same room that I imagine Noah's in, but perhaps he's in the room in a different timeline. So, um, yeah, I think 1953, hopefully here we come. I mean, and if Noah is that old, then he definitely has a lot to gain from, keep, you know, to keep this, uh, this, this cycle going. And oddly, he has the same tattoos, which I believe... The stranger has on his back. Um, I'm not sure what the significance of, of those are just yet. Whether there's some sort of equation um, to ensure that they can make the, the trip, whatever the case might be, I, I, I have no idea. But um, hopefully, we find out. All right, guys, episode eight. Let's check it out. Yes, I love it when a good puzzle comes together. Yeah, 1953. Whoa. Is that Eric? Sie sehen aus. Sie Guess that explains why his body wasn't found. Younger Egon. Interesting, interesting. Der Passage zwischen einem schwarzen Loch, dem Eintrittsloch und einem weißen Loch, dem Austrittsloch, die Raum und Zeit miteinander verbindet. Wer sie durchquert, reist durch die Zeit. They're suggesting some sort of uh, black hole within the cave. Eingang, Ausgang, schwarz, weiß, gut, böse, Very true. kommt in Paaren daher. Der Knoten der Dreisamkeit. Ohne eine dritte Dimension ist nichts vollkommen. Es gibt nicht nur ein Oben und ein Unten. Es gibt auch eine Mitte. Okay. That is, which way in the fork did okay okay this is the first door here we go again I wonder which door he will take at the end of the, at the fork left or right He's gonna end up in 1953, isn't he? And probably cross paths with Egon. Now, these two are complete opposites. Coins from the future. Die Prägung stammt aus dem Jahr 1986. Das ist ein Witz. Kommt noch toller. Also ich habe schon einiges Sonderbare gesehen, aber das hier übertrifft eindeutig alles. Hmm. 
Sim Kevin. Das ist ja auch der Support des Mondes. Mit dem das war er. 33. Das war noch mehr als das. Sie begegnet uns. Das ist 33 lila an das Fegefeuer und 33 an den Himmel. Und das ist das Alter, in dem der Antichrist seine Herrschaft beginnt. Uh, interesting, Noah. Noah the Antichrist. Wenn er zum Mörder wird? Ja. Wird unsere geboren oder wird unsere angemacht? Will unsere Arbeit jedenfalls erleichtern. Was vorher wüssten. Werden wir sie ein, wenn sie noch klein sind? You know, it's odd. Egon seems to, you know, seems to be quite a compelling character. How did he become so incompetent later on in life? Uh, you guys have nothing better to do? Ah, uh, come on. Seriously? This is gonna be a, be a trip for him. Sound advice. If he's gonna run into his grandmother. Huh. Dad! Dad! That's the weird one. Do Not if you say nothing. Say nothing. Walk away. Now, yes, since we have a ton house, ah, so this is the old man in his younger day, younger years. He hasn't published this book yet. Spät, ich hatte schon mal gesagt, dass du pünktlich sein sollst. Claudia. As that explains his crush on Claudia, they've been, they've known each other since they were kids. Yana. Uh, tact Ulrich. 
Jesus, man. Eine Billion. Die Polizei hat heute Morgen zwei tote Jungen gefunden. He's so consistently aggressive, no one will give him any answers. So, is Ulrich the one who gave the man, the ins um, you know, the author the inspiration, you know, to write the novel to begin with? Ignore the bodies over there, people. <laughs> Two kids are dead, and that's what you're worried about? Zufällig, einen Tag vorher, zwei Kinderleichen auf dem Gelände auf. Ich werde Ihnen eine Liste mit den Namen der Kohlebetreiber zukommen lassen. Sie werden sehen, das Ganze ist ein Komplott. Eric, he's got to recognize him. Did he tell him his name? Just know that he's he got. I mean, this is his second visitor inquiring about you know these things. So surely he put things together. I guess Ulrich didn't tell him much. I mean, he wasn't as inquisitive as as the stranger appears to be. Yes, the, this hotel has been in the business for quite some time. I understand why Regna doesn't want to let it go or see it go out of business. Why does this actress look familiar? I've seen her in something before. Didn't seem too kind to Helga in the first place. Why does he even like her? Okay, that's where I knew her from. Um, Fiora all in Man of Steel. I, I, I knew I recognized her from somewhere. Do you think Helg is a mini killer or something? That if he stops him here, he'll save his son later on. <laughs> yep, seems to think he's a killer. Uh, Alok is going mad. He's they Helg is the one that captures them later on, so he's not completely off his rockers. But so by doing this he may very well cause Helg to become what he, he is later. Yeah, I guess this is what they were talking about, what happened to him at the cabin. He gave him the scar. Uh, 
Apparently he didn't finish it. Ulrich, Ulrich, Ulrich. I mean, it's not much different from what Charlotte was doing in 1986. We know Helg survives the ordeal, so either Ulrich, Ulrich gets interrupted, or he realizes what he's doing is wrong and, and leaves. Or I guess he thinks maybe he's dead, but he survives. Another love triangle. I guess this is where it, it, it all began. Hmm. Cigarette burns. Alles ist miteinander verbunden. <laughs> was wenn ich ihm sage, dass alles, was in Ihrem Buch steht, wahr ist, dass Zeitreise möglich ist. Ihre Theorie der Entstehung von Wurmlöchern durch Gravitationswellenimpulse ist nicht. Where did he get the device from in the first place? That would work. Why? Why won't he help him? And how? Where do you get the device from in the first place? If the man hasn't created it yet, in this at this point in time. Still has his unfinished. What is this contraption? What have you done, Eric? All right, all right, episode eight. Um, the, the biggest revelation this episode, of course, being that um, there's a wormhole um, beneath Winden, um, initiated by the, the, the nuclear plant, and then this device that the stranger has in his possession um, is able to replicate that. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, they mentioned the black hole some some episodes ago, so I think that that I think that's where we were already heading. Um, just we were, I just wasn't quite sure where to place that device, and uh, how. And I'm still questioning how. Who I think is Jonas, the stranger, came to have possession of the device to begin with. Since the one the you know the author has no, um, I think is unfinished, right? So where did he get the comp the the finished product from? He would have to have gotten it from the future, though. Um, hmm. So what time that is he? I, I mean, I think he's in 1986, perhaps. Judging by the man's age in 1953. Um, 
I think where the stranger is now is perhaps 1986. Um, so where did Jonas get the copy of the machine unless he got it from 2019? Or I don't think the man would be alive at that point. Um, so there's that question. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll revisit it because she does need his help to, um, to, to fix it so that he can um, close the, the 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 wormhole as it is um which appears to be his goal no um we didn't see much of noah this episode we were focusing mostly on you know ulrich's journey to 1953 and that's the other big revelation of course the confirmation of the third timeline which i, I mentioned two episodes ago i also wasn't sure whether it was in the future or in the past but i knew there was a third timeline that was yet to you know that hadn't been revealed to us as yet um so it's in 1953 so 1953 1986 and 2019 and those are the three points um that that we'll be um we'll be cycling through um some inter interesting theories they that the author put forward i forgot to jot down his name um uh, but as to whether ulrich's decisions are the correct ones you know um there was a conversation with with um egon with one of his i'm guessing his superior i think um in the in the office and this kind of you know highlights the the man that we see egon become in 1986 and i was i, I questioned throughout the reaction how he you know how he went from that officer to the incompetent sheriff that we see in 1986 I, I i have said before that um i mean i think he's been following the rule of law um but he's also a devout christian which i think forces him to um impose his beliefs on evident on, you know on the evidence before him and we see him in his younger days asking the right questions. You know, what prompts a man to to kill another, and what 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 makes a murderer do what he does? Um, but you know, he asks he asks the right questions. And later on, he's asking about you know satanic. He's asking a kid about you know in nineteen eighty six about say the satanic cults and does does is that something that kids your age are into and. So we see the the, he, the you know the tug that's happening the tug of war that's happening between you know one one belief and the other you know um, his his experience as an officer and you know being able to analyze think rationally and look at the evidence before you versus his his beliefs um, his faith um, so it's interesting to see that the dichotomy of what he was versus what he eventually becomes um, uh, but. Uh, you know, Ulrich's decision to, I don't know, to try to fix the, the events of the future by addressing the events of the past. Is it wrong versus the discussion that Egon had with his partner or superior in the office who was suggesting that um, it's best to, you know, kill these persons before they start to you know, you know they, they start to show signs of you know murderous murderous intent and and so on it, and there's some merit to it you know i mean we use it every day it's called profiling and and we, we, we but we just don't do it before the person takes the action that makes them a criminal in the first place uh, for those of you who watch um anime of course you've if you've never checked out um psychopaths and you're familiar with um the, at least that's one medium that has explored that. I'm sure there have been many, um, um, especially um, I mean, that, that film with Colin Farrell that I'm, I'm blanking on, but you know the one I'm talking about. Uh, so there's been many de de depictions of it in film and TV where you, 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 know, you judge someone before they've committed a crime. Um, whether there's any merit to it, I can't say. I mean, it's, it's, it's I, I don't think you can um, judge someone before they've actually committed the, committed the act. But that's, that's what's, at the, you know, that's what, that's a part of the discussion here. Was his partner, was um, Egon's partner correct in, in that, you know, 
Ulrich's decisions were the correct ones and that he him killing or he doesn't kill him but he tries to but I think he thought he did um, his killing Helg you know save, would save so many lives in the future and there's an argument to be made that that is true um, Helg is committing all these atrocities and clearly older Helg I think he guided um, Ulrich through the caves so that he could stop him um, clearly later on he believes that you know someone needs to stop him from committing these acts so there's there's there there's an argument to be made that that is the correct thing to do i think in the i mean in, in in ordinary circumstances i would say it's not the correct thing to do but in this particular instance where it's you know it's time travel and you know with certainty that this act will have a domino effect leading to this particular event and these kids dying then i can say okay maybe that's the right thing to do um, the twist of course here being that the very act that he committed there may have resulted in um, Helg becoming the person that he becomes later on so um, I'm, I'm interested to see where the show takes this um, I mean since everything is all the events are tied together and we're, we're in a circle we're, we're in a circle at the moment you know one event from the future leading to the past and the past uh, the, the future influencing the past which influences the future um, so where do we go from here um, that, that remains to be seen. I'm, I'm gonna rewatch this episode a few times um, to see where, um, you know, where, where I come out, you know, at the end of this, and what theories I can, you know, what theories I can come away with, uh, having all these new characters. Because we we met a lot of new characters this episode. There was a photo um, near the end of this episode where um, they showed the older photo um, with Claudia. Um, and she looked quite deranged, <laughs> to be honest. She looked quite deranged and disheveled and like a mad woman. And then we saw the actual person. Um, I'm assuming there is some significance to to, to highlighting her and, and what drove her to, be, to to appear the way she does now. Okay, so I think that's going to be a focus. That's, I think, believe that's going to come back to us. Um, so there is some significance to that. Um, but we, we'll see, we'll see. Um, the situation with uh, the nuclear facility um, and, and, and Helga as well, I, I'm just thinking back to the, the episode where we first met Helga in 1986, and he was speaking to Claudia at the gates. Clearly, from this episode, they've had a relationship since they were younger, but I get the impression that she's always looked down on him, you know? Um, and for, for for whatever reason, you know, he's somehow infatuated with her. And even though we see the cycle repeated in their children later on, um, in, the, in the next generation, I mean, it's a bit different. Uh, for even in Hannah's case, she doesn't like Ulrich because he's new to her. Um, he was actually nice to her as a kid. Um, and, well, that didn't... And that didn't end well, but um, so it's similar, but a bit dissimilar in the same in the same um, at the same time with Helga and then Claudia. Um, she always appears to look down on him and not think he would amount to much. Yet in 1986, when we do meet them, you know he still seems very much infatuated with her, and he was complimenting her in fact and saying, you know, he always believed that she would something would become of her and she'd make something of herself and. Oddly, his dad appears to have been, um, appears to have begun construction of the Winham plant, but he, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. It could be the trauma from Ulrich, you know, having done that to him, that you know took him off course, and he his life has never been the same. And for whatever happened thereafter, Claudia ends up, you know, inheriting that. Uh, could it be that that's his dad that was handing over the facility to Claudia when we met in 1986? The old man in the wheelchair. We did see his dad with a, walking with a cane um, uh, in, in 1953. Didn't, I don't think we got his name when we went to 1986. So you may have, and I may have missed it. So I'm going to go back and, and update 
um, the, the, the character map if, if I do see where his name is called out. Um, so I suppose, I mean, it just strikes me as odd that he would hand over the facility to Claudia and, and not try to groom his son to do that. But again, a lot may have happened between the room where Ulrich locked him in, uh, uh, you know, almost killed him, locked him in, and, and then that may have affected his life as an adult later on. So, um, there's a lot to unpack there. There is, there is a ton to, to unpack there. Uh, so th- this episode, um, a lot of new characters I need to add to the map, and and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see, guys. We'll see. Um, it's, it's definitely gotten more intriguing. We we now know what is happening in the town of Winham. We now know the cause of what is happening. Um, I know we're in a cycle between the, these three timelines. Not quite sure how Noah fits into it all, but I'm going to wager a guess that he also existed in 1953. Yeah, um. And he exists in all three timelines, but he hasn't aged in either of the all the three timelines. So, is that what he stands to benefit to to benefit from all this happening over and over again? And you know, will Jonah succeed in in in, in breaking that cycle? What happens? I, I mentioned in the last episode that you know, for for the cycle to end, that perhaps you know Jonas me you know I, Jonas may not exist. Uh, I think I don't think I don't see a happy ending at the end of this for for him, you know, in in one way or another. I mean, he now knows that he's related to um to to Ulrich and and even Martha, who he had he wanted to have a relationship with. I don't see things ending well for him at the end of this. I think if the cycle, if he does manage to break the cycle, um, he will probably cease to exist. But um, I mean, it, it, it's it's it seems it's necessary. It's necessary. Um, so definitely fascinating, a fascinating episode. Um, there's a lot of information um, thrown at us this episode, so I will be going through um, to see what I may have missed and updating the character map with um, with the um, all the other parents that we have been introduced to, and perhaps that will reveal some other motivations that I um, I didn't quite catch the first time around. So. Um, this has, I think we're, I mean, only two more episodes left to go. So, um, I can only imagine this would have been a great cliffhanger. I, this would have been a terrible, a, a terrific cliffhanger. So I can only imagine what will be, what will be revealed at the end of this season in episode 10, I believe. Um, so I am excited guys. Um, uh, be sure to post down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. Uh, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next one.